this fluffy little geese, is part of a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide. Watch how this farmer breed, harvest, and process the goose for its liver. In this farm, geese are bred for the liver. Goose liver, a delicacy known as foie gras, is the fatty liver of a goose, it is widely consumed in Europe. Unlike an ordinary goose liver, foie gras is the liver of a goose, which has been fattened by a process of force feeding. The farm worker will start the day by preparing food. Geese are mainly feed with grass in this farm because geese are mainly herbivores, eating grasses, grain roots, seeds, and other vegetation. However, some geese will also eat insects and fish, making them omnivores. We are now in breeding and incubating area, where pairs of geese are bred in here to harvest eggs for incubation. As the geese lay most of their eggs in the morning, the bulk of the eggs will be collected in the morning by the workers. The eggs are then labeled with the date and other details before sent for incubation process. Incubating goose eggs is an exercise in patience. Usually the goslings will hatch after about 28 days. The young, called goslings, can start to walk, swim, and feed within 24 hours after the hatch. Most goslings are in a yellowish, which turns light gray, to olive green towards the tips of their feathers. The gosling will be collected and is moved to a pens, where it will stay here for a few weeks. The pens has plenty of food and lots of fresh water that is changed several times a day. Ideally, a pelleted grower ration plus cracked corn or other grain will be fed to gosling for the first week to 10 days. As they grow, goslings started to lose their yellowish color and turn into which tend to be a light gray, with overall less defined coloration. In this stage, for the most part, the gosling will now have a steady diet of grasses and other vegetation. Practically they started to consume the same diet as their parents, mainly grass and vegetation. As the geese reared to adulthood, proper feeding and providing a well-ventilated, sturdy, and low-to-the-ground structure, with also line the floor with dry straw to maintain good environment for them. Other than foie gras, goose offers animal products such as meat, feathers, fat and eggs, which will be later transformed into a highly coveted and profitable poultry farm. Most parts in the world, geese are reared in their millions in intensive factory farms. And in France alone, millions of geese are bred to produce foie gras every year. Next, all matured geese will be sent for fattening process. This process, also known as gavage, is force feeding done repeated multiple times a day, causes the bird's livers to swell up to 10 times. The process of gavage is carried out over for about 18 days before the bird's sent to slaughter. The liver is fattened by placing a metal or plastic tube down to the throat of the goose several times a day to administer feed, to which believe the most effective way to achieve the largest possible liver. The feed given via the tube is made up mostly of corn. The forced feeding process will be done three times each day consecutively for 18 days, after which time they are slaughtered at about three months of age. In the wild, geese have a lifespan of about 25 years. But in farm, they will be slaughtered at about three months of age after their liver is ready for the harvest. After the slaughter, the goose will be processed. The enlarged fatty liver of the goose will be extracted from the cavity carefully and set for packaging. It will be later transported to grocery stores and restaurants to be sold and served. On average, 
the liver will weight between 300 to 500 gram each, and in some farm, they even can produce between 650 to 800 grams each. But in wild, the goose liver normally only weighted around 50 grams on average. The practice of force feeding with corn based substance deliver large amounts of fat which are deposited into the goose liver causing it to grow to up to 10 times its normal size. Every year, millions of geese are being reared for this cause. Foie gras is a diseased liver. When the goose is force-feed, the liver will become abnormally enlarged from a disease called hepatic steatosis. In particular foie gras is not only unnecessary, but it is also an expensive luxury which comes at a very high price not only for the overprivileged peoples who indulge in its consumption, but also for the poor unfortunate geese who are tortured with forced feeding for three times a day for 17 days. Later they are slaughtered at about three months of age. After the liver is extracted from the goose, their meat will be processed. Goose meat is considered a delicacy as well, and it has been consumed in many parts of the world, including the Middle East for centuries. Because of geese are herbivores, they tend to have darker, fattier meat that tastes sweet and fragrant, compared to ducks who are omnivores. Although it has a high fat content, mostly under the skin rather than in the meat, goose meat is highly nutritious, very rich in protein and iron, and they also has a distinct flavor which sets it apart from any other types of poultry. After most of the meats are extracted from the geese, any leftover meats and other parts, which is not fit for human consumption, will be turned into byproducts for pet industries. Geese are mainly farmed for the purpose of meat, liver, and egg production. However, down and feathers are also an important source of income and are considered as a byproduct by most of industries. Down and feathers are removed from the goose chest, lower belly, flanks, and all the areas which are not covered by the wings. Down is in high demand product in worldwide by textile markets as it has a good thermal insulator, making it highly valuable for the manufacturing of outdoor clothing, sleeping bags, pillows, quilts, and donnas. The largest producer of down is China, producing 85% of total global production, followed by many other countries. In 2008, the value of the world trade of down and feathers was estimated a whopping $1.88 billion, and the global market is expected to reach higher than that by 2026.